Hello, this is PK, Pastor Kevin, coming at you on Veterans Day. Happy Veterans Day. It is 11-11, November 11th. Good to have you here. I want to ask you, do you overthink things too much? Do you think about things to the point of anxiety and nervousness? Are you prone to irrational fears? I am. Do you have an anxiety problem? I do. I have been a full-time pastor for 24 years, and I struggle with anxiety and irrational fears. And something else that I want to share with you that I, that I have not shared with very many people. I want to be very open and honest and transparent right now in this video. When I feel really happy, There seems to be some random thought that comes into my mind, some insecurity thought that sabotages my happiness. Can you relate? I mean, on a scale of one to five, five being the most, when I'm five out of five, really happy, some random uh, insecurity thought comes in and ruins my attitude and makes me dwell on that thought and just sabotages my happiness. Now on most days on a scale of one to five, I'm usually a three or four. I'm pretty happy most days. But when I'm really happy and things are going well and the bills are all paid and, and everyone in my family is healthy and I'm really happy and doing something or going somewhere that I really enjoy. I'm really happy. Five out of five, some random thought, usually about the future, comes in and makes me dwell on some insecurity and it ruins my happiness. It sabotages my happiness. Can you relate? Well, if you can, this video is for you. I've talked with my wife and I've prayed and I think the reason why I am prone to this self-sabotaging pattern is because I think I was taught by past experiences that I'm not really deserving of real happiness. Now, that's not true. It's a lie. And we know from the Bible that fear is a liar and the devil is a liar. But I think I had people in my past and experiences that taught me the erroneous message that, that I don't deserve to be really happy. And the task of therapy and counseling and the task of the Christian and the spiritual person is to unravel all that, to, to shake that off to move beyond that, to, to be healed from that, in a sense. You know, when Jesus brought back Lazarus from the dead in the Bible, he came forth and then he, he called the people around to unbind him, to, to, to get him out of the grave clothes. He was wrapped like a mummy, I imagine. He was wrapped up in grave clothes, uh, white linens, and Jesus told those around to unbind him, to remove his grave clothes. And whether you believe in resurrection or not, the point is, is that that's how we are as people. We may uh, be born again, or we may come into a spiritual awakening and know ourselves as uh, connected to God. You may have a relationship with the Lord and and be close to God, but you may still have some grave clothes to unravel. Some old patterns, some old behaviors, some old ways of thinking, some old attitudes from the past, some old attitudes, some, some old mindsets, some old mentalities from the past to unravel. You may have to, to, to unravel yourself from your own past and, 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 you know, they say we, we all carry around uh, baggage, emotional baggage. It, it's time to unpack the baggage 
and, and perhaps get rid of a lot of it. So it's important for you to affirm to yourself and say, I'm deserving of love. I deserve to be really happy. King David said in Psalm 37 verse 4, Delight yourself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Your heart's desires. Not referring to a certain amount of money in the bank or a certain kind of car or clothing. We all desire to feel loved. Really loved. Unconditional love. We all desire to be happy, to be in relationships, to laugh with friends. We all desire to feel hope, like there's hope and optimism for the future. We all desire these things. And so if you and I will take delight in the Lord and, and take delight in, in your connection with God and connect with God in, in any way that you connect with God, even if you don't use the word God, then you, de you deserve to experience the desires of your heart. I believe Psalm 37 verse 4 tells us that you and I deserve to be happy, that, that God wants us to be really happy. Five out of five, not one out of five on a scale of one to five. God does not want you and I to live on that one out of five level. Uh, in the upper room during the Last Supper, according to the Gospel of John, Jesus spoke about joy. He said, my joy will be in you and your joy will be complete. When David talked in Psalm 23, when he said, my cup runneth over, he's referring to his life overflowing with happiness and joy in the presence of God. Uh, I love Matthew 6.31 in the, the Message Bible. What I'm trying to do here is to get you to relax, to not be so preoccupied with getting so you can respond to God's giving. I encourage you, if you have a hard time with relaxing and being calm, if you struggle with anxiety, read Matthew 6.31 in the Message Bible. Proverbs 14.30, a relaxed attitude lengthens your life. So we all desire to be relaxed and calm and happy and joyful, at peace with ourselves, uh, surrounded by good people, and God wants you to have that. So begin on your own to, to read these verses. Psalm 47 verse 4, Matthew 6.31 in the, the Message Bible. Proverbs 14.30, read these verses and personalize them for yourself. Say, I deserve to feel really happy. I'm a child of God. God wants me to be really happy. I deserve to have peace. I deserve to live with relaxation and calm. Begin to say these things for yourself. Make them a part of your prayer time, your, your early morning quiet time, or going to bed time. This is you exercising faith. When you say, thank you, God, that I deserve to be really happy because you love me. That's you exercising your faith in God's love. When you say, I'm deserving of love. I deserve to feel really happy. And no one and no thought should, should sabotage my happiness. That's you exercising your faith in God's word. There's the old hymn, Standing on the Promises. Well, this is how you and I can stand on God's promises, as found in Psalm 37, verse 4. Read that verse in different Bible translations. Read that verse in the NIV, the New Living Translation, the Passion Translation, the Message Bible. I think it'll be helpful for you because I know what it's like 
to be on the edge, on the verge, on the precipice of being really happy and then some random anxiety thought comes in and just sabotages your happiness. There's no way to live. That's not how the Lord wants you to live. So begin today to believe that you deserve as a daughter of God or as a son of God, not the son, but you are a son of God, that you deserve to be happy because I have two children. I want both of them to be very happy. If I feel that way about my children, how much more does God feel that way about his children? So just know that, that, that God wants you to break through, have a breakthrough. No more being sabotaged by insecurity thoughts. No more being overwhelmed with anxiety that is crippling or, or that, that short circuits or sabotages your day. From now on, you're going to begin a new mental habit, a new pattern, a new way of thinking. And Romans 12, 2, Romans 12, verse 2 says, do not conform any longer to the, to the patterns of this world. This world is filled with anxiety and fear. It's in the news every day. It says in that verse, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So I've got lots and lots of videos on my channel that will help you be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If you transform yourself by renewing your mind, making your thoughts new, think of the word renew, renew. You're making something new again. You know, making a, a table or a car new again by, by working on it. Well, this, this is you working on yourself. And you're going to have yourself forever. You're going to have your thought life in your life forever. Everybody else is maybe. Maybe he'll stay. Maybe she'll be your friend. Maybe that person will be your best friend forever. Maybe. Everyone else besides you and God are maybe in your life. You and God are the only ones who will definitely always be in your life for the long haul. So begin now to renew your mind, renew your attitude by saying things like, God wants me to have a relaxed attitude because Proverbs 14.30 says, a relaxed attitude lengthens my life. The Bible says in Psalm 37 verse 4, if I delight myself in the Lord, he will give me the desires of my heart. Personalize that verse for yourself. And this is how you begin the process of renewing your mind and not being sabotaged in your happiness, but allowing yourself, giving yourself official permission to be really happy. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, give a, a like, if you will, and subscribe. And I would love to hear from you down below in the comment section. Have an awesome day. Happy Veterans Day and love your life.